and gentlemen, my name is Gilroy the Red, and welcome back to Pal World. Look, I've got a fancy new hat. Yeah, I've been spending spent quite a few hours off camera, just you know, just you know, feeding feeding pals cake and collecting eggs and putting them in the incubators and and hatching them, and as a result, I'm now almost level 46. But I was, you know, trying to, just trying to get my, you know, some level ups for my pals. But the idea is I'm going through, you know, all of these, these guys and getting all the, all the, the, the capture bonuses complete. So we've made it all the way down. You even got that one. If you guys don't know where this is, I'll show you on the map in a minute. Currently working on and Suriname Noct and the Cinemoth. Le Cinemoth. As you can see. Suriname Noct. Cinemoth over there. So they've got their cake. Right. So uh yeah. Turns out there's a uh, there's an there's an outdoor there's a there's a wildlife preserve down here. South of the uh South of the starting area. I did not know this was here. It was, you know, I was looking up where where to find uh, the um, where to find Pen King in the in the wild. Because you gotta you gotta get the the you gotta get a couple of plumes off him to make the hat. And so the only way you get those is from the wild ones, not from you don't get it from the ones you bred. So uh, yeah, that's how I found that. It's like hooray. So yeah, I've got my got got a swanky new hat, so we got some got something to look good while we're while we're wandering around the base. But um, right, yeah, all that fun stuff. So we've got we got some level ups. To uh, we've got some new technology, and what have you. But uh, so we're gonna go back over here and. Um, All right, we need to start. Um, uh, I I put these guys away while AFK, well, you know, off camera because most of the time I didn't I didn't you know didn't want to have to deal with and maintain you know these guys over here and also I wanted to make sure that my uh, some of my coal nodes weren't weren't able to respawn properly, so I needed you know that you know how that goes. Okie dokie. Management menu. There we are. As you can see, I, you know, have hit a base upgrade, so I don't know what we need. Yeah, I don't know that we need the extra, the extra body there. Especially since we, uh, we've got the tech to go upgrade one more time. Furnace, Legendary Sphere. Assault Rifle Ammo. 
and the assault rifle. Okay. One, please. that little bit store way over here perfect Okie dokie. Polymer in the box. There we go. Now let's take a look at this weapon. So we got 320. Attack of 320. The single shot rifle is still. I'm not 100% certain if the single shot rifle is still still useful. You know what I mean? But uh, you know what? I think we'll give the old, uh, I think we'll give the old girl a proper send-off, and, uh, actually use up the ammo. We're not going to make any more ammo for the single shot. Right, what was I thinking? Oh, that's right, the electric furnace. So, we're not going to need that furnace or that one. Alright, I need some circuit boards and some more carbon fiber. Okay. What am I right? Damn it, I overcooked it. Just gotta get to the barrel. And that's why you put barrels next to, uh... When 
somebody put the concrete? Oh, well, I get it. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Okay, what do we need for... We need some circuit boards, and we need some carbon fiber. Alright. Ah, sleepings. Yes, go ahead and advance to daytime, such that everybody may, uh... Now contribute. Perfection. I wonder where the actual interact point for the, the, the PAL is. Probably... can't have my uh it, it is it is legitimately too tall well that's unfortunate all right well we'll put one back there and i guess we'll just uh I guess we'll just have to modify the porch. Oh well, it is what it is. But. Pal box upgrade available. So I wonder if that's the last base upgrade. That should be the, yeah, that's 20th pal available. That I've got, you know, I've currently got you know, max base size 20. Well, let's go take a look, see. Is that the end of the upgrade pad? Enhanced to max. Alrighty. That is indeed the end of the upgrade pad. How tasty. Okay. And now that we have this, we can... Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and go for max. No, that's not a whole lot, but, uh... Oh, 
Not to worry, we have more. There we go. Not as of yet. Not as of yet. Nice. Okay, now. Where am I gonna store them? That was not, that was not the correct interact point. There we go. This was the correct interact point. Righty-ho. Well, don't know if there's any other intermediary. Righty, righty, righty-ho. Uh, right, we need to make up Gunpowder. Gunpowder. Set that to max. And proceed to set this to not max. Oh, no, I don't want to burn up all of the wood. How much wood do we want to leave? I guess we'll leave 700 wood. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and max out this. Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave just over 700 wood. That'll be fine. And look at him go. We want a whole bunch of well, assault rifle ammo, for the most part. Okay, what is the... Alright, it's five. One and two. One and one. One and two. One and three. One and two. So it's the same... It's the same ratio as the uh, as the single shot ammo. Interesting. Um. Do I go for... do I go for Max? Uh... yeah, essentially. 875, sure. That sounds about right. Charcoal, or we can make more gunpowder. Righty ho. Bamo. There we go. Okay then. What? I'm, I'm forgetting something. I am forgetting something. Oh, that's right. We need to make some um, 
We need to make some spheres. Right, golden spheres. For that, we need more carbon fiber. Uh, yeah, carbon fibery, 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 fibery. Let's just go ahead and we'll use a um sure we'll use up that much coal. Up, um, about 200 of these. Yeah, 200 of those. shot magazine, huh? Alright, perfect. Teammates that we're that we're specifically trying to level has made it to level 30, which means we need to. Chillet has made it to level 30. Set him aside. Put it down. Because he's going to be my, uh, that's going to be my new flying mount. I have replaced Beacon. Okay, so. What I'm thinking, oh, that's the wrong button. Didn't need inventory, needed this screen. So we've got, we've got a German tide here, and we've got a German tide, where was he? A German tide over here, and we've got, a fanglope. Oh, we got a. We found a level 25 fanglope, so we're gonna go do that guy real quick. He should be a cakewalk at this point. And then we're gonna take. Then we're gonna take down both the Yarman tides. Something tells me that this one should be the Yarman tide Ignis. But then the map's just being a little stupid. So yeah, we'll go get boss versions of. Yeah, we got our we got our Yarmantide. Uh, we got our. I think I got the the regular Yarmantide through crossbreeding, and then the Ignis from the sanctuary over here. Okay. Then we'll go get uh, we'll go get we'll capture us a boss Anubis. Is he done making ingots? No. He's on a short break. He, 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 he's, he is welcome to take a break. Take 
that, take that back into, uh, into the supply cupboard. There we go. Hello, Igni. Righty ho. Oh, that's right. I was doing this to make make balls. Righty. Okay. Yeah. Carbon fiber is not the limiting factor. The um, the pal ingots, pal metal ingots are. Quite a few uh, ingots left crafting, but we'll go ahead and uh, that reminds me. When is when is weapon assembly two available? Where 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 is that? Way down. Okay, forty-seven. Okay. No worries. my handiwork pals. Now, it is what it is, I suppose. It is what it is. It's what it do. How are we doing on food? Okay, we are doing gym dandy on food. We'll just go ahead and leave that there. We're going to keep stacking up resources into, into the cooler. All of my trees are gone. I want wood on production, then I have to have somebody here who wants to chop down all the fucking trees. Oh well. I suppose it's better than... Nah. It, it's probably better that the AI goes after the, after the natural nodes before the production pits. Because otherwise we wouldn't be getting... Oh yeah, the, no, the ore is not down. Most of the ore is down. Yeah. Right, he needed a short break. He's a big fluffy boy, look at him. He's only with his one handiwork skill. He's trying to help. Is he working on this one or is he working on... No, oh yeah, he's working on this one over here. He's a good boy. Alright, carbon fiber's almost done. Take that, we'll put it in the cupboard. Do 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 
Yeah, we're probably in a good spot as far as all of that goes. I wanted to make some... Let's get these balls made and we'll queue up the rest of the gunpowder for... Got fun. Hooray! One completed. All right, that gives me ammo. So yeah, so we got ones, tens, twenties, thirties, forties, and then level fifty. She needs to go take a break. All right, all good, all good. All right, we're almost done with the assault rifle ammo. Perfect. Thank you, gentlemen. That'd be lovely if you guys came over here and applied your handiwork skill to the sphere line. And that is exactly why I put it right outside the door. Let's keep this daytime rolling. <clears throat> Thirteen legend. Oh, nice. Oh. Legendary spheres. There we go. Perfect. Um, I guess we'll queue up this. Right. Waiting on the charcoal for the gunpowder. Fine. Charcoal's queued. Finding gets metal, eh, pal metal. Okay, I think we're about as golden as we're gonna get. So, um, let's see. Uh, Fenglope is. Do I have a Fenglope? Uh, yes, I do. Caught one at the preserve. So Fenglope is a neutral, is a neutral boss. So for neutral bosses, we want, we're going to go dark. Okay. Lixen is now 30, so we go there. Dark damage to weapons. This one is... Neutrals drop more when defeated. But I mean, don't really care about that. 30 or Zerg. More damage for Nox. And then... Then combat heals. Finally, combat heal. Now... What do we got? We got Dark Ball. Give them all dark abilities. Let's double check the fruits fruits we got on store real quick, just in case we want to give him 
A little something, something. I don't have any low power dark fruit. What about high power dark fruit? I've got some. So we got a spirit flame. A nightmare ball. Lamo. Oh, because he already knows it. Can't give it to him because he already knows it. Fair enough. Um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and put it back in the uh, back in the box. Make a deal. Right here. Okay. Need extra fuds. But, uh, yeah, alright, so this is gonna be the, uh, the team we take to go deal with Fengloop. Go. Lamo there. Okay, put on the actual proper helmet. Okay, now let's go deal with Mr. Lope of Fang. <clears throat> I think we're... I think it's, like, complete... I want to go this way? Yeah, I think I want to get up there. I think this is completely overkill, all this kind of preparation for this particular boss, given, how, given the fact that, um... Given how much I out-level it. Well, game crashed. Yeah, I was about to say that um, the level scaling in this game is... I don't know if it's unique, because I don't have that much... I don't have super great video game experience. But it's certainly intriguing, in that you actually have a damage debuff. Your, your damage output is reduced if you are attacking an, a, a creature above your level. But the flip side is, is that your damage, you know... The, the 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 critters damage out damage to you is increased when they out level you and your damage to them is decreased but the flip side of that is also true when you out level the pal your damage is buffed and their damage is nerfed is debuffed so if you out level something it turns into a cakewalk What makes that interesting is, is when you run into the, but then you've got the level cap. So for everything except the legendaries, you can out level. You can out level everything except the legendaries. They're all level 50 at max level. So the best you're going to do going to be is on par with them. So you just don't have, you don't have the debuff. So you just don't have a debuff. And then for those you very get you you absolutely have to manage the uh, your party makeup, and so that's the point of of this party makeup. So we've got our you know what? we've got we've got our we've got our traversal pal. Look how fast he goes. took 
care of the uh, dangerous guy. Lamb ball in a cage. That's... Well, alrighty then. Grab that leather. Coarse ammo. Gigaspheres, gold coin. Shotgun shells. Assault rifle ammo. Nice. It's a single bullet, but... Okay. Where is... Something tells me Fenglope is underneath. There's going to be a... Uh... Mineshaft entrance. Down and around. Hey. Oh, effigy. Righty ho. Another outpost there. Don't know as we. Yeah, don't care about it. Alright, we want to go. Yeah, I do not know where the. Entrance to their lair is. down there underneath the waterfall. Right. That's quite enough out of you. So we'll queue up this guy. And attack aggressively. <clears throat> Stamina region. Uh, 
Okay. We're going to give... We're going to go ahead and relog, and we'll see what... Uh, we'll see if that brings it back or not. Kind of hard to fight the boss if he don't spawn. Nope, not going to be here today. Well, that's ein, that's ein bummer. Well, we'll grab the chest at any rate. Hmm. Okie dokie. Well, that means we need to go back to base and switch out for Yorman type. That's a bummer. Sorry, Nox, you didn't get a chance to actually come out and do your thing. Boxes all over the place today. Health armor schematic ain't worth keeping. Right, okay. Uh, well, I guess we'll go to the breeding camp and uh, see if there's any eggs for us. Everybody, everybody return to your pathfinding. Okay, very good. Ah, okay. Cinemoth has... Cinemoth is... Used up all of their cake. It appears that so have the... Incineram. Okay, perfect. Go ahead and pull those guys... Back in... So that, that actually makes it... We we're making Incineram knocked, not Incineram, but... Um, so this guy is... A spare Incineram. That guy goes there. Wraith goes in the... Dark category, Nya. And then... Cinemoth is grass, goes nya, and nya. Okay, perfect. Who's up? Ah, oh, goddammit, I forget who's up next. Ah, we got chickens. That's right. Our socks. Our socks is next. Okay. 
go ahead and put our socks in the box. Our pal, our socks. Oops. There. And there. Burn you go. A herd of ferocious flying pals. Okay. Now, these are one campfire egg or a two campfire egg. I forget. I think dark is same as I think it's a one campfire. Just go ahead and seems a little hot, okay. No worries. There we go. Seems quite comfortable. So I've encumbered. Oh yeah, AI yeah, the the pathfinding is kind of borked. Okay, it means we got to relog again. Okay, that's fine. Not the end of the world. Put that in there. I can move a teeny tiny bit. Have the there we go. And bam. Righty hoadly hoadly ho. Seems very comfortable, seems very comfortable. Uh, put that in the box. Put that in the box. Put the leather down here as well. I should probably stop stalling and just reload, but um, that goes there. Sure, whatever. Uh, right. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll be right. Well, come on. Yeah, the, um... Yeah, out being out and about and adventuring does have a tendency to mess up the pathfinding of the pals at base. As long as you don't go back and actually look... As long as you don't come back and, and render in the guys, then the fact that they don't have pathfinding... Because I think what happens is a, a um, as an optimization strategy, the, um, the when, you're, when you're out away from the base, the game stops calculating the pathing for the pals at base. It, it doesn't calculate, you know, it doesn't calculate where they physically are or how they're moving from place to place to do their job. It's just, you know, it's just going, okay, these pals have this movement, you know, they have a movement, they have this job, you know, they, they have this job. It, it's, it's just running the numbers of their jobs instead of actually making them, you know, go through and do the thing. So as long as you stay, you know, as long as they stay off screen then, you know, they're, they'll continue, you know, harvesting crops, and they'll continue putting stuff in, in boxes, or in the case of the breeding farms, they'll continue laying eggs, as long as they've got the, um, the cake. Speaking of which, the cake goes, yeah. And then we need to look at... Demud, demud we got... And then it's Cognito 8. 
Right, all right, we'll queue up some more cake. Cakeage, 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 cakeage. There we go, another eight cake. What are we doing for foodly food? Go ahead and grab that. All right, that'll do for now. And then after they get done with the cake, we'll queue up. We'll go ahead and have them queue up a hundred of the jam-filled buns. There we go. All right, we got to make sure we get all of the fla the wheat picked up. That. And berries and thus. Berries and thus. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, Jarman Tide. Going after regular Jarman Tide. He is a water type. So, for the water type. Anti-water type is electric. So we got tri lightning. Do we have some? Yeah, spark blast. Lock on laser is a yeah. Let's have a couple of uh, quick turnaround ones. Eh, shock yeah, we'll, we'll we'll give that a go. And then a couple of pals to boost his damage output. I get partner skill here. Scorching Fighter. Oh, and the Ice Pals just drop more. So the Flaris is just the Ice Pal uh, drop booster. Gotcha. There we go. Okay, so Flying Mount. So our primary mode of transportation, we've got our Elemental Damage Dealer, so Damage Boosters for the Elemental Damage Dealer, and then the Combat Healer. Perfect. Okay. To Yarmantoid. So we're going to go over there, Investigator's Fork, and we'll head south. Applies electric damage to players' of weapons while mounted. We need to go down the hill because we yeah. mounts don't take fall damage, and the game's crashed again. That's I'm. <sighs> Better in the lead up to the boss fight, to the alpha fight, rather than in the alpha fight. But, I mean, it's still kind of annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I
we do bib. Yes. Goodbye, Dire Howl. And that's why you don't wear. Then that's why ri riding mounts in a boss fight is stupid. about to go down. Yeah. Ow. Uh. Yeah, fuck it. Give it a go. Okay, let's try that again in a different manner. Yeah. Mounted combat sucks. Come on. Mounted combat fucking sucks. Especially in that arena. I'm a Nettly. Nice. Intervolt's back. Hooray. Okay, let's go get mine stuff and then Just go south. There's the right, I can see my back there. There we go. Just go get it.
There we go. Focus, same enemy. Okay, and Univolt. You know, Univolt, it'd be nice if you actually, you know, fought back. Alright, well, if he's... If, on, move! Move! Dodge, you fuck! Dodge! Where the fuck do you go? Always up in the tree. Oh, nice. I'm okay with this development of events. Okay, so, uh, no, 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 there we go. We'll try one more, and then we'll go to the big ball. Oh, we've got, oh, there he goes. Perfect! Nice! Precious Dragon Stonage. Very nice. They love to see it. Okay. Mr. Yorman Tide. Oh, yep. And now the support characters are up to level 30. All good. Yo. Is that are those the guys from from no, nope, not quite. Stop targeting the thing in the cage. Yeah. See what I mean by, uh, just kind of... Just kind of steamrolling. Okay, so we're going to work under the assumption that the other Yormantide on the map is the Ignis version. 
because otherwise it would not make the slightest bit of sense to have two of them, two of the water types. So we're going to work under the assumption that it is the fire type. And so, where's my, there's it, okay. This means we want to switch out, and then we're going to go ahead and put the, uh, More gunpowder on to craft, I guess. Well, hopefully, well, we'll see what's we'll see what's um, what's made up and ready to go. Another egg. Come on, you. There we go. We'll switch out for the. Um, Switch out for the water pals. There we go. Okay, so not still working on the um still working on the ingots huh I did a no but no no new charcoal all right fine boom that goes there okay No point in keeping any of that. Oh, I know. Right. That'll go in the inventory. That goes in the box. Ah, uh, this weighs four pounds. We're going to put it in the box. We don't need to carry it around. Handgun schematic. Green handgun schematic. What is this? This is health armor schematics. Don't care. Yep, do not care. Let's grab that. Put it in the box. Same as this. Oh, yeah, that should have gone in the low power fruit. There we go. Fluids. Okay. We're going to somehow shove the spare rifle into there. Well, okay, the, the, the two precious stones go in there. The sparky plugs go there. Soul goes in there. The, the wood, the fiber, the leather goes in one of the other chests out here. The low power stone fruit goes in this box. Go ahead and open this egg. Ah, that's bunkingness. Neat. that in there. And uh, just go ahead and dump the that, 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 and press that button. Perfect. Okay, we've got... Alright, so... Yeah, we'll just kind of go east and a bit south. There's no point in... Just kind of go off in this direction.
I need to go, like, way east. Oh, it's right over there. Okay, perfect. Alright, we'll sit down on the top of this spire and... Catch our breath. Yeah, he's inside that skeleton. Alright. <laughs> or is the map lying to me? Oh! Oh! Okay, wasn't paying that close of attention. So, it isn't the Ignis, it's literally just... There's two spots that you can get the same Jormantide. Okay. Mm, not sure I like that, but it is what it is, I suppose. Well, since we're down here, we'll go check the tree, see if it's got anything tasty on it. If it does have tasty, then I guess we'll go through and, and run run the trees. If it doesn't, we'll just leave it alone. Iceberg, stone blast, sand blast, yeah, it's kind of boring. I guess we'll run the trees some other time. It's not that he's not that the what's on that tree is going to change now that I've looked at it, but the point is, is that it's not, it's, it's, I don't want to, like, I'm not prepped to do the, the, all of the trees, right, game, 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 crack. I like keeping all the trees on the same respawn timer, so if it's, if I'm going to collect them, I'm going to collect them, nah, I'm going to collect all of them. Go through all the map, get all the ones that I've marked, gather them all up. But since that one didn't have anything particularly interesting on it, I just I would leave them leave them for later. <sighs> Belridge. Okay, so I guess we'll go grab Knox and his crew. And we'll see if Fenglope is among the living again. But uh, otherwise... Yeah, we'll go see if Fenglope is among the living again. But um, that's... We're pretty much at time. I suppose we can go after... Um, Mr. Anubis, I'll get him, give him a go.
I am on fire. Why, why am I on fire? Game, why the fuck am I on fire, game? Right. Okay, and everybody disperse. Good. Yarman died. Put him over in the boss box. Okay. They didn't get, they didn't get boss grade level up, but, uh, oh well. We'll try Feng Lope again. Should we go after Anubis, Burdash, and, and his crew? Hmm. Nah, we're gonna try Feng Lope again. We'll, go, we'll try and end on the, uh, the easy kill. Anubis still is technically above my level. I'm gonna spend some more time off camera. Ooh, cow metal. Oh yeah. Definitely get that crafted for uh for next time. When we go after um, Mr. Anubis, we get uh, right. Okay. Come on. And there we go. Hey, we got a health bar. He has taken some damage already. Hmm. Well, that sucks. I was really hoping that this would be a... Uh... <sighs> Let's see. 
see. I wonder if... And the game has crashed. Yep, that's a good place to end it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming along for the ride.